Welcome back, folks. For our 13th Juror Story tonight, we're turning to New York City, where a scene straight out of an action movie occurred in the streets of the Upper East Side. A Mercedes intentionally slammed into a Toyota SUV, forcing it to stop. An armed man then exited the Mercedes, waving a gun at the Toyota's driver. The suspect then retrieved a bag from the SUV and drove off. According to law enforcement, the suspect got away with $20,000. Viral video of the incident has been circulating online, and the New York Post was able to obtain some of it and posted it to their website. Take a look. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to shoot him. All right, they used the pit maneuver in the wild chase, but uh, the question is, why are you smashing up a $120,000 Mercedes to grab a bag with $20,000 of cash in it? We begin with our 13th juror, comment of the day, coming from Roxanne. Maybe the people in the RAV4 stole it from them, and they chased them to get it back, but most likely the car was stolen. Carrie Jernigan, your thoughts? Why would you smash up a $120,000 car just to grab twenty grand? I think that comment is probably correct. I bet the car will end up be from stolen or they are either upside down on it and didn't care, but my gut is that it will be stolen and I bet the police, we will catch these people within the next few days, but we will see. Uh, Christine tonight, insurance would pay for the car, so that's a $20,000 gain. Uh, Darnell, you think the, um, the Mercedes was insured by the uh, folks who grabbed the 20 grand? Uh, absolutely not. And actually, I saw the whole video earlier this week, and NYPD can learn from these guys in terms of that pit maneuver um, when you watch the whole video. But the twenty thousand um, is not relevant because the car is stolen. I'm gonna agree with uh, Ms. Sharon again on this one. Douglas, tonight, either stolen vehicle or just reputation. Sometimes it's not the money, but the principle. You have to guard your street credibility. Speaking of the streets, and Bremner, this is the middle of the day. In right. the Upper East Side. I mean, that's where that's where George Jefferson went to go live because he wanted to live that's a good right. life. And look what's happening there now. What's going on, Ann Bremner? I know. He was moving on up, you know, and that was a long time ago. So I don't know what's going on with these guys. I guess reputation and I, if they want to save that. I looked at that and I thought, that thing went viral. I was going to ask Carrie if she's done the um, It's Corn song yet on TikTok. Speaking of viral. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't but these it, things. I do love that song. Oh, I do too, but I was just hoping you'd done it. But I think these things, they go viral because it's just crazy. You look at that and you say, how could it happen there? How could it happen that way? It did. Yeah, and um, hey, Carrie, are you, are you shocked that all this is happening in the middle of the day? I mean, broad daylight, like nobody cares anymore. Okay, we're going to smash into Sunday. another car and we're going we're gonna to grab the money and just go. You know, I... Nothing surprises me anymore. I'll leave it at that. All right. Well, thank you so much tonight. Carrie Jernigan, check her out. TikTok, Carrie Jernigan 1. And we also have uh, Darnell Crossland, thank you. And Bremner, great to see you thank as you. well. Great uh, to we see appreciate you. your time tonight.